Meanwhile, some Providence parents are demanding that the principal of Nathaniel Green Middle School resign for his response to an incident at the school last Thursday. 12 News reporter Kate Wall spoke to some of those parents and has the administration's response. It's time for us parents to really stand up and say, these are our kids um, and we're going to keep them safe. For about an hour during student drop off Thursday morning at Nathaniel Green Middle School, a handful of parents held signs at the busy intersection of Chalkstone and Oakland Avenues demanding increased school safety. After last night, we're kind of all outraged. Um, we knew about the incident already and about other violent incidences that have, have occurred here, um, but we didn't know um, about the lack of response. 12 News obtained a memo from Providence Police saying that last Thursday, an administrator thought they saw a gun being passed from student to student in the cafeteria while reviewing surveillance video. However, the principal reportedly didn't call police directly, and officers didn't respond to the investigation for over an hour. No gun was found, but an unloaded gun was found at the school back in April. As the parents held signs Thursday morning, Superintendent Javier Montañez could be seen speaking with students and faculty outside. 12 News asked him the day before about the school response to the incident. I want to say uh, there's always room for improvement, but I want to make sure that, you know, we understand that we're always thinking about safety first. But Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza is calling for the principal to be fired. An hour and 15 minutes went from the time they determined that there might be a gun in the school to when anything was done about it. If this was any other setting, I would be a bad parent for sending my child somewhere where they don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. But because this is school, I am supposed to send my child here. Providence police could be seen circling the school Thursday morning with cruisers parked around the corners of the school and officers walking the grounds. Those parents told us they would be back during student pickup time this afternoon around 2 o'clock. In Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.